You gotta be the most popular person on Instagram. Head hot show influencer. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Well, Head on to influencer. Yeah, man. I, I need that kind of I need that kind of clout. Where I get a country to change their own rules. They they abide by, they abide so, by. So, so that I can come over there and make as much money as I feel like and do whatever I want. <laughs> is he is he playing over there? Uh -huh. Did he go there to play? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he went over so he's not there. just chilling. He's not just no. He yeah. Break. yeah, he he's there working. He's yeah. making their money in return, mm -hmm. playing for their 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 league. Okay. Um, but Amisha, you can speak more to this. Why else is it a, was the only reason why Cristiano moved money, or is there other league issues? Like I'm hearing the PGA and this new golf league are battling, and the PGA is really conservative. So a lot of young golfers are going with this new league. Is that the same thing going on in the soccer world? Or did he just go um, for the money? It, <laughs> it's most I think it's mostly the money for him, but it's a stupid amount of money, um, like way more than anybody else is making. Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they, they want the sort of exposure and, and uh, hey, here's the, you know, the most popular person in the world playing in our league and it's, it's going to boost their profile and they want to get the World Cup, I think, in 2030. So that will help their bid, having him there and he can, I think that's probably part of it too, promoting and, Help him with, with their with their bid, even if they say no, he he he'll be sort of an ambassador type figure for them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I don't know who's the most popular person. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. He has like a quarter of a billion people. I don't know who that is. Him. Soccer. Yeah, you're you're an American, so that's not that's. We're the only country that doesn't really know who that guy. I've heard of soccer. <laughs> yeah, 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 soccer player. Yeah, Cristiano man. Was he in a movie or something? He he, he looks like um, a guy from Young and the Restless playing soccer. Why Young and the Restless? <laughs> <laughs> Daytime TV. That's, that's what he looked like. That's what Daytime he looked like. TV soap opera star, and that terrible statue. I don't know who did that. <laughs> That awful statue. And that statue's that. been there for a minute. Been there at uh, least 10 years. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's not getting replaced. That shit. No. No. That dude, man. Yeah, so yeah. A lot in their resume. <clears throat> but to bring you into step into the story, Antoine Cristiano Ronaldo has, you know, more followers than uh the Kardashian. I don't know if she has been more uh over everybody. Um, you know, boo me as mama. Don't try to play me. Um, long story short, he's in the league in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a Islamic country, I believe. Um, and there are rules, there are stiff rules about certain things like living, having a woman, shacking up with a woman that you're not married to. Other rules they have, like, you know, they're not big on drinking, smoking, none of that stuff. So I'm, sh I'm sure if the World Cup was in Saudi Arabia in 2030, some people would be pissed or they, there'll be another headline about, is it going to be a dry World Cup? Uh, is it going to be et cetera, et cetera? So Cristiano Ronaldo is so powerful and famous and influential to what they're trying to do that the news headline is reporting how his girlfriend, girlfriend, um, is getting attention for staying in Saudi Arabia with him, who he has kids with. Um, which makes this funny to me. Uh, me and my wife are having a conversation, and she pointed out that, um, you know, she thought it was interesting that instead of marrying her, he chose to ask the government to give him an exception to let his girlfriend stay. Because if you marry her, it would not be breaking the law. But instead, he. <laughs> He doesn't want to marry her. He just needs her to stay with him <laughs> so she can raise the kids while he's making billions of dollars playing soccer. 
to me, that was what made him win the Can't Tell Us Not Award. <laughs> uh, at least to get my vote. It's like, come on, man. I, I, like, that's, that's some shit, man. What do you so say? He says, either my girlfriend stays <laughs> in your country with me or I don't play for you. Is that how it came down? I'm sure something like that. I can't mm -hmm. say about the, the details, but the, the, the optics are, you know, I don't, and I'm trying to speak, trying to speak as much honestly I know about it. I know that the, culturally, they've been having a lot of issues with women <clears throat> and they're liberation. Put it lightly. Yeah. You know, trying to liberate the women over there. So I don't know if this is a, a long game play for, uh, I think her name is Georgina, Cristiano's girlfriend. This is a long term play for Saudi Arabia to try to liberate their women saying, you guys can do anything. Look at we're letting Cristiano's girlfriend do some things. Or is it just a political straight play of, hey, he can do it, but if any other women try to do this, you know, mm -hmm. we we whipping in the streets, cutting heads off, disappearing people, allegedly. So, yeah. Allegedly. I want to bring that. Like, so what do y'all think about that, man? You think, what, like... <laughs> for some yeah. reason, for me, it it rings like back when baseball was an all white sport and they found a black dude who's like really good at it. I'm like, you know what? This black guy could play. And then they found another one like, yeah, but they got black. And now all of a sudden all sorts of people in baseball. This could be the first of many, right? Like they just need this couple to be successful, to be really good at what he does mm. and to allow another one in, and another one. In. And the next thing you know, so everybody's got a girlfriend. More, more, more soccer players with girlfriends. To more soccer players with girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> more, yeah, more sorry for the girlfriends. I wonder. No I wonder. That would have to me. <laughs> but but it, will, it will challenge their. It will challenge their government. But wait, I wonder if there are other soccer players who, you know, had the same offer to play, but they had girlfriends, but they're like, no, 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 you can't be together, and they got married. Like, what does that say about your ability to play? Like, Ronaldo, not Ronaldo, Ronaldo is, is so much better that they change the rules for him, but they force you to, like, get married. What if there's, like, a soccer player who, like, under duress is like, come on, get married. Because I got to go over here and make money. And now he's married because he's not as, as popular or, I guess, as, uh, as good. Yeah. Do you think he's mad about getting married? Is that what you're saying? Probably. I mean, if he knew that the option existed, if he knew that forced by the government of Saudi Arabia to get married, yeah, he's probably a little mad. Wait, I could have just had my baby mama over here. And right. If he'd have just I waited, got a wife, it went after right, right. Cristiano Ronaldo. If he waited and let you know Ronaldo be the the, the Ronaldo, first one to go yeah. through, first yeah. One. But I mean, yeah. I can't imagine that's the only soccer player they've ever courted. You know, to yeah. come over and play, it's probably a, about a handful of dudes that had to get married in order to go over there to play so that their wives you know, yeah. or, you know, yeah. girlfriends oh. at the time had to come. Or or players that's already there that they said, hey, we are where you have a girlfriend, you need to get married. And they're like, what? When they get married, now he comes over eating <laughs> the freshest grapes and apples with his girlfriend just sitting everywhere. She's everywhere, too. Yes, the Brandman. Everywhere in front of all of those oppressed women over there. <laughs> right. Marina says, but the way they've been together over five years and have kids, uh, but that won't even make him get married. Something's mm -hmm. up. That's what I said. They've been he has like nine kids with this girl. You coming over to Saudi Arabia with me, y'all, we ain't just boyfriend and girl, you know, like don't get I me would, wrong. I, I'm not yeah, I would I would now. think you should probably get married just for the protections in that country. I don't know if he's what his state is, is a visa or something, but I don't want to take chances, you know. I don't yeah, know some how gap in her. treated here. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, if they're willing to change the rules for you, I'm, I'm sure you're, you're fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Don't have to worry about anything. I you know they, they I'm sure they can do whatever 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 they It'd want. It'd be like the uh the Adidas deals take his girlfriend away if he starts doing things you don't like. <laughs> hey, it's possible. Shoot. It's possible. Yeah, it's good enough girls. Yeah. He, the, you know, the, the, you're talking about a government that has so much money. 
I'm sure they can do things. Um, I mean, what is Portugal going to do? Go to war with Saudi Arabia over him? <laughs> no, because he, you know, but no, I, I think he probably has the the Saudi Arabian police has detailed privately for him. Um, and and because of that, that he's probably they're probably allowed to do whatever they want with him. No. But it made me laugh. It's like, wow, I don't know if that's progress or if that's some nah, I'm not getting married. You're gonna have to change this law. <laughs> that's a, I don't know, it just it just shows us how much religion and you know human beings' interpretation of religion is just really based on you know, the capriciousness of, of, of the human, you know, if they want him to play, it doesn't matter. Those, how does something that matters so much do not matter? Not matter. When you want something, when you want yeah. something you know, because, uh, from it. Why? But that's, that's humans. That's why I Are you it. saying there's some, some sort of air bud rule in the book where you're like, let's look at the book again. Oh, there's nothing in here that says a dog can't play basketball. Yes. You look at that. <laughs> your air, your air bud defense is on. The the air bud defense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, the rules they just have don't to interpret the rules a certain way. And, yeah. Oh. The, there's no Saudi Arabian rule that says Cristiano Ronaldo can't bring. <laughs> oh, because his name has it says. the man is from Portugal. <laughs> was it Peru, what was it? Portugal. He was from Portugal, and oh, he has a God. girlfriend. They've been together five years. There's nothing in here that fits that criteria. I'd say let him in. <laughs> Crazy man. So yeah, that was my my laugh. Shout out to Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina. You get uh, John's Can't Tell Us Nothing Award. Way to kick off, <laughs> kick off 2023, kick off really, yeah. giving away the award. Yeah. Some sort of animation for that. Yeah. Um, super late in the show, but this is the Can't Tell Us Nothing <laughs> show, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to the new year. Thank you for rocking with us. Benitas, Shauna, Marina, thank you for hopping hey. in the chat. Hello there. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, in this show, we take opinions, discussion topics, turn in improv scenes around the spot. I feel like this thing is in front of my mouth a whole lot. Um, Got him. Yeah, we're out of Houston, Texas. We do improv in Houston, around Houston, around the country. Mm -hmm. we do live shows. We had one not too long ago, a live show yeah. at Station. Yeah. 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 Fun yes. times. Fun Come time. out if you're in town. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so just wanted to get that out of the way. Anyway, mm -hmm. go on with the soccer man. Um, you said they changed a rule in their government. Yeah. What Talk was about the John? Do you know like what the rule was that they changed? Um, I have to look up specifically, what the, but it's I mean it's a it's basically like a, a no shacking rule. You know, women mm -hmm. are supposed if you're not married, you're not supposed to be living with mm -hmm. another man outside of your family, etc. <clears throat> um, and I mean, they're paying him a lot of money, and I, I guess he's in there, the future of Saudi Arabia. So they they allowed him and his girlfriend of over five years mm -hmm. to come over, live with him, and that will not be applied to them. I like to think that they're like conservative parents, and they're like, "Well, you can have a girl over, but you got to leave the door open. Okay, you can't <laughs> can't close this door while she's over here." Yeah, I don't want any hanky panky. I don't think did y'all see? Um, did y'all watch? Um, is it Raimi? Watch his series on Hulu that came up, I think, in season one. When he goes oh, to, I see, I see the pilot. I saw the okay. pilot when yeah. he goes to Egypt, and uh, it's just so messed up because he ends up having a tryst with his cousin that he, you know, just met when he went there, but anyway. Um, they were in like the same hotel room, and it, but there was this big thing about like she had to sneak in there. Uh, and then um, there was a man who worked in the hotel who was snooping around and then kind of caught him in the room together or her coming out of the room. It was like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew you weren't married. So I guess there's this, you know, a really a, a serious law or rule about not, um, you know, had unmarried people sharing the same bedroom, maybe sharing a, a like, like John said, living 
living together. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it doesn't matter for him, but it matters for everybody else, which is so messy. And, see, and, and that's the downfall. I think my prediction, that's going to be the chink in their armor. You can't, you, that's an exception to me. Yep. That, you know, the young people in, in that country are going to, who are loving Cristiano, they're, they're not going to ignore that. And then it's going to influence them to do things likewise, you know? Could be a whole bunch of little girlfriends in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Call what? it Christianoing. The Christianoing. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you think he could get away with? Like, just because he's him. Like, could, Man, he, could he go in before the government and say, you know, that rule is stupid? You know, everybody, we're all I, adults I, here. I, I, don't, I don't think he can insult the, uh, the 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 prince and the family because mm-hmm. they got a lot of money man like they, they I mean they that that family is they can do some things so I don't think they will let him get away with that personally um, but I'm sure he can get away with a lot of stuff I'm sure it's not the only dirty thing he's doing he's probably getting drunk in public all kinds of shit you know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're going to let that happen, then I believe you're going to let him do everything. Crack, all of that. I don't think he does crack. I don't think he does crack. He looks like he's uh, pretty healthy. Um, but it begs me to ask the question, do you think that there's a point where you can be so great at something that you don't deserve to follow the rules like other people? That's, that's the, the mm. core of that. Do you feel like, and I don't mean that politically, I mean that like honestly, if you were at the top of your game like him, dominating in the space like him, top five arguably athletes, you could argue of all time, um, and you are, and people are making that exception, do you think you would fall, your ego would fall victim into allowing those bending and breaking of the rules? Do you think it's, it's just the name of the game, or do you feel like it's you have the capacity to withstand the temptation of even something like that. Seton, asking Seton. And people in the group comments. Mainly Seton, though. What y'all think? Yes. All right. Oh. Next question. No, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this this group on this on this video is at the top of the game improv wise. And you haven't let it corrupt you. As far as I know, so you know, I think I think that's a good indicator that we have a, 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 a solid moral compass that guides us through our success. Um, absolute power corrupts absolutely, right? Like, yeah. what is your power? Is kind of what it sounds like. I know you said it wasn't political, but it sort of gets political once you talk about what you can get away with. Because it's about who you can influence, who you can assuage, who you can bribe. That gets political. Mm -hmm. Um, But I like to think, (laughs) if anybody's willing to try it with me, if you want to make me super (laughs) successful and powerful just to see if I get corrupted, (laughs) I am down for that. I am too. Yeah, I think we can do a group experiment with that. Yeah, yeah. Group yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody wants to yeah. finance that. Yeah. Sure. If we yeah, to give it a shot. Yeah, Stanley Marigold's experiment. That's what it reminds me of. I think most people will fall victim to it. Um, but here's another funny thing I read: uh, Snoop Dogg was supposed to perform in Dubai. Um, very close, and. The reason why he's never performed over there is because they won't give him the concession to allow him to smoke weed as he's known for wherever he goes. So he chose um, he chose not to go and perform over there. Whereas, you know, if Cristiano has more political influence, he gets the concession, which I would think would probably be way more. Uh, I don't know, more, I think it would be a big, to me, I don't know if it says a bigger rule, but it, to me, it, I think it has, carries a little more weight culturally, yeah. I guess. 
It's a little bit more risky, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Does any like religious text talk about the evils of of drugs versus like the evils of infidelity? Because you oh, get a whole only, lot only, of only only alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, but nobody goes into detail about you know about uh, what we would consider drug abuse or because you know, all the drugs exist. It's just the abuse of. Of the drugs, that's the so what you're saying is he should have used the airbud defense and he didn't use it. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. He didn't. It no. it <laughs> the bud defense. This, no, I, I think it's just more laws. <laughs> there more. There are probably more things that people point to that that are that are a sin or a problem that that govern women's bodies or the use of women's bodies or how women use their own bodies. So, um, yeah. So I was like, yeah. The drug thing, whatever you got, but the being in a in a bedroom with somebody you're not married to. That's just okay. one one thing I think I would do if I was if I had the time uh -oh. and the influence is uh -oh. actually read the text <laughs> and then bring it up to them. Any sort of contradictions or or uh old school verbiage that they probably don't agree with anymore. It says here in the thing. Da, 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 da. Get real nerdy with them. Yeah, they they ready for yeah, that. I was gonna say yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm get, sure people tons of people are. Yeah, you yeah. get you get paddled <laughs> with some sticks. And so trying to, <laughs> but I'm powerful. To, I thought I was powerful <laughs> in this scenario. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, okay. There, there's there's, there's always there's you know. always limitation because power is also risk and danger. Um, you know, <laughs> the guy was this guy named from Alibaba. The billionaire guy who spoke out, he was going on a tear speaking out against the CCP about how he didn't like whatever they were doing. Man, he got he got missing. Nobody knew where he was for like four months. And he was like one of the wealthiest people in China, in the world. Very vocal, very charismatic. I forgot the guy's name. Um, but yeah, government just had a little sit down with him. No one talked to him publicly or seen him for four months. That's serious power. If that happened to Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Like that would get everybody in Saudi Arabia back in line. <laughs> They're like, you know, they just shut his have you heard of, down. Have you heard of sudden Russian death syndrome? No. It was a story I, I heard the other day where, uh, Apparently, a bunch of uh, Russian, either like political people or, or rich people who've been critical of the government or of Putin, have oh, yeah. died in mysterious ways, usually Absolutely. by falling out of a window or down some stairs or being poisoned or um, accidentally yes. having a knife cut their throat. Not yeah, falling on a knife or something. Falling on a knife. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and the, the article Russian. dubbed it Sudden Russian Death Syndrome. <laughs> I'm not trying to catch that shit either. No. Yeah. Uh, the guys who, like, you know, they've been sick with something else. They go to a hospital. They're in a hospital. And they fall out of the hospital room window. Like, you know. <laughs> that's, that's, that. <laughs> that's not what I was here for. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like some Final Destination shit going on. <laughs> I don't even think hospital windows are supposed to open like that. Nah, no, I have <laughs> never seen one open. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're built like that in Russia specifically. <laughs> There's a specific window for pushing people out of the hospital. Certain Russian death syndrome. <laughs> it is cold. People die. That's cold. <laughs> you said that's cold because people die. <laughs> yeah, man. But it's the it brazen scary. nature, right? Like this is I was mm -hmm. I was surprised when I heard the story because it's like this old school way of doing things, right? Mm -hmm. Like people falling out of windows in the year 2022 or whatever it was. That's how you take people out. <laughs> we 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 cut to the hospital. Hey, nurse, nurse. Um so, yes. uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a question uh, yeah. about uh -huh. my, 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 my hospital room. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, I saw on the door, it's called the Russian Suite. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, and yeah, I, my, my window's open. I'm really cold in here. Um, I, I didn't know 
hospital rooms had window, you know, yeah. windows that you could open. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we call it the Russian suite. You know how cold it is there. Um, our windows open and close very easily. Um, right. Most of the time they just kind of spring open and some a lot of times people get cold in here. So we just call it the Russian room. I hope that uh, these extra blankets here on the, on the side can help uh, help you keep warm. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm here because I have pneumonia. And, uh, oh, you know, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if this is the best place for me right now you um know. You know, well you know your treatment just started so we don't know how things are gonna go yet um so it's really best that you stay in this room and then once we get a good feel for exactly you know the disease process and how you are relating to that and even relating to us then we may be able to make <clears throat> some changes but initially we like to start most people off in the russian suites just because okay you said relating to you so you do I need like need to be nice to you guys so I get better, better treatment? Is is that is that what you're saying? Do you? I mean, I, I, I I'm sorry, I, I was a little bit critical about hospital food when I when I rolled in here. Um, yeah, we heard that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we okay. heard that coming down the hall. Um, well, that, which is why you know there are two windows in this room. Some of our rooms just have one. Uh, but we just figured, you know, we give you time to acclimate, get used to the place, and figure out how things go here. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I also haven't been fed uh, all day. Uh, I don't know if it's, uh, was that because I was critical. That was because you were critical. Food. The chef, the chef in the in the cafeteria. Um, I mean, we've got a pretty, you know, people oh. talk around here, so we're got. <laughs> so you guys have a chef. Yeah, we've got a chef and. Um, uh, hey, uh, hey uh, excuse me. I'm here to uh, here to shave the patient. Oh, shave good. The patient. Okay, shave okay, down. Hugo. Good, mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's shaving time. Yeah, he's going to shave. He's going to shave, shave you down. down. He's going to shave. I'm you here because I have pneumonia. Not, not. I don't think I need to <clears> shave. What you you, you don't want to get shaved? Why? Why not? Why do you want that hair on your body? I, I don't know. I just had it for. A, a long time. I don't really think about hey, it. Hey, look, I've been doing this a long time, okay? I know what I'm doing. I know how to shave a person, all right? If, you're, if you don't think I can do what I what I was born to do, that's rather insulting, actually. Do you, don't, you don't think I can do what I can do? Uh, pro, uh, I mean, okay. maybe you do, but, you know, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, uh, look look at your tools. You're, you're going to shave with... Those are the things they used to like shave gyros in in a Mediterranean restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is how I do it. This is I actually <laughs> used this with the chef uh, a little bit earlier today to shave a gyro down in the. Okay, yeah, I can see there's, there's grease on it right now. Yeah, well, that's fine. It's just, it's I'm, not gonna yeah. I'm not going to cut you. I'm not going to cut you easily. Hugo, you don't have to defend yourself. We know you're capable. You're a wonderful hospital shaver. Um, we're just gonna <laughs> yeah. we're just gonna let our our new patient here. Uh, kind of take in how everything goes here. This is how it goes, Mr. Paul. You have a lot of questions, mm -hmm. and we're really not used to people asking questions or That's questioning our questions. methods here. A lot of yeah, questions. yeah, I, I do have a lot of questions. I like to know how things work, and you know, I'm, I'm yeah. Some people could say, you know, I criticize things a lot, but you okay. know, so what? Let me no, push his bed. Good. I'm gonna push his bed closer. Let to me the help you. So Let me help you push it to the. <laughs> <more> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't and, want to be close me, to the window. Let me tell you, when you're shaved completely, the wind from this window feels mm. amazing. All right, we don't have all that hair in the way. That's when it really trust me on this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sharpen this up. Yeah, you can just going. strip on down, and we'll get started. Hugo's the best. How about you need another blanket there? It looks like you're shivering a little bit. I mean, I, I do, but, you know, these, these blankets are kind of old and itchy. Like, you know, I, I don't mean to complain about them, but I'm just being my, honest. My grandma made those blankets. Yeah, these are antique. Like when? Hospital grade. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, this, one, this one clearly hasn't been washed in a long time. Let me sit him up on the side of the bed. I think Please laying do. down, Please he's, do. uh, you know, he's just... I think it's messing with his mood. It is. Okay, well, like, let me go ahead and close to... these blinds at the other end of the side, in the other side of the room that'd, here. That'd be great, Hugo. He's too that'd bright be in the great. hallway, obviously. Okay, you, you oh, just yeah. sat me on the edge of, of the, the window here. I, I could fall out at any, any, any point. Get, you're just getting some good breezes on your back, you know? I think that's going to help the lungs. 
um, expand and fill and and help you with this pneumonia that you're dealing with. She's one of the best nurses we got. Listen oh, yeah. to her. Uh -huh. She's and plus one of the best nurses you, you guys have at this hospital. Say the, the bar must not be you know very, very high for um, quality of, of care. I'm 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 gonna step out and I'm gonna go get my uh, I'm gonna go get my man. <laughs> <laughs> he for sure is gonna push him out that window. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good air. <laughs>